What's up, guys? It's Dorian. Before I get started, I just want to say if you like my videos, if you want to see some more, I got plenty and more on the way. Click subscribe. And alternatively, you can find me over on Twitter at Dorian.slash. So today I'm going to do something a little different, and it's a Q&A, I guess, because I've been asked several times, why do I use Ubuntu? Um, I've also been asked why I use GNOME, but yeah, um, some people I think are asking in a kind of snarky way. Other people are just curious. Sometimes, you know what, it's just hard to tell in a comment or in a, in a message or tweet. So I figured why not discuss this? Why not give an answer? Um, why I use Ubuntu? Um, honestly, I've used a lot of distros and you know what? I don't only use Ubuntu, to be honest. I use uh, Ubuntu. Uh, I also use Manjaro and I use my own distro that I've made and I use OpenSUSE. Uh, but before, before Ubuntu, I used tons of other distros like since the mid 90s going back to Slackware and Red Hat, which is now Fedora, but before it was called Fedora, it was just called Red Hat, uh, and you know, tons of other mixed bag things all the way through till I kind of landed on Ubuntu and kind of stuck. But why I like Ubuntu, well, there's a couple of reasons, but one of them is the community and Stack Exchange actually has an Ask Ubuntu site, which is really, really good. There's a lot of information here. You can ask questions, you get answers pretty quick. Uh, you, could, you could find your answer most likely here because the community is just huge. Um, so there's that and there's the forum, but it, it it's not only that. I talked about in a video, I'm gonna put a little pop-up link here in the corner. I talked previously in a video which was called um, Which Distro? Which Distro? I think it was called. Yeah. Which Linux dis Distro Desktop should you choose? So in that video, I talked about how you have your, your layers that you built upon in your 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 distro, what, what makes it. And one of the lower ones down here, in my opinion, is the community. That's one of the foundations um, on top of, you know, the you've got the kernel bootloader and, and whatnot, and it just builds up from there. But the software repositories is also very, very important. And I find that Ubuntu has tons of software. Um, a lot of websites that you go to, they will have Deb packages for you to download, which of course work on Debian and any any Debian derivatives or Ubuntu or its derivati derivatives like Mint and whatnot. But it's a very, very popular package. So if you're using Ubuntu, Debian, Mint, anything Ubuntu related, um, there's going to be tons of software for it. So that on top of the huge Ubuntu community, uh, Ubuntu compared to Debian and Mint have massive communities, I think far greater, but it's not only, it's not only about Ubuntu itself. Some people don't like Ubuntu because they're, they're evil because they, they sold out. Um, they, they're just a greedy company and whatnot, but you know what? It's, they do corporate stuff, they do enterprise stuff, but so does Red Hat, so does OpenSUSE. And some people just don't like certain distros and that's fine. Uh, you might have someone who, I don't know, is a, an Arch Linux fan who's saying that Ubuntu sucks and OpenSUSE sucks and all that. And it's like, okay, well, fair enough. You're allowed to have that opinion. And then you have someone who's running free BSD saying, well, Arch Linux sucks and all the Linux sucks. It's all about free BSD or, 
you know, like it, it just goes back and forth. It's like cars. Why do you like a certain car? Well, because it's just the style that you like or certain clothing or and anything that you buy that is a certain brand that you like or, you know, what kind of cereal do you buy? Well, it tastes good. Well, some people think Ubuntu tastes good. I don't know. But it's just a matter of picking something that you kind of like feel a groove with, you know, and you get used to it and you, you start developing skills with and you just kind of stick with it. And I've been asked also why I built Scion Linux on top of Ubuntu and it's because of community and the software repositories, just the, the packages that are available. And yes, I can also do it on Arch Linux, use that as a base. Um, it's a lot more from scratch and it has the AUR, the user repository, but that's a little dangerous too. And it's also a rolling release, which is a lot harder to manage. Whereas Ubuntu is a fixed release. And I've got a video about that too. Fixed releases versus rolling releases. Uh, if you want to check that out. And it's, it's all about stability. So yeah, you get software that's kind of locked in for two years, but it's pretty stable. Uh, I've had more issues with rolling release distros just crapping out on me from updates than Ubuntu. I mean, I've never had to fix my Ubuntu. I've never had an update, you know, crash things, but pretty much every rolling release I've tried, there's been something that went wrong with my Wi-Fi, something went wrong with my graphics drivers, and then I had to roll it back, or I had to find a way to uh, get the, the newest driver that came out right after the one that wrecked my system. Um, but it, it's totally possible to run something else. Uh, I actually have, do I even have it still here? Uh, no, yes I do. I have a Manjaro based Scion Linux. It's not customized or anything, but I built up a Manjaro ISO from scratch or a, a distro from scratch, installed what I needed and then started installing the packages that I use in Scion and I could even install the control panel and whatnot and uh, I think this is the password. But yeah, like open box, similar themes. Uh, things are a little bit different in how it works, but it's pretty much the same. File manager, I still have the same file manager. Theming is not done, but I mean, it's pretty much the same, slightly different. But you know what? I picked Ubuntu and that's just what I roll with. And, and I, I also, in case you haven't noticed, usually pick GNOME or GNOME, however you want to say it. Uh, why? Because I like how it works. I like the activities. I like the multiple desktops. I like the sidebar, but it's very Unity-like, I've been told before. People didn't like Ubuntu also because of Unity, but I've I tried Unity. I didn't like it. It was too intensive on the CPU, it just felt like it was trying to be too flashy, trying to be something different. And oddly enough, I use the dash to dock to, no, dash to dock extension to make my dash permanent. So it's always here, always visible on the left. And that's the way I like it. It's very much like Unity, but it's still running GNOME, which I like even better as a full working desktop. Um, and if you want to see how I customize it, um, basically from scratch, so out of the box, you know, I end up with your basic stuff and I install all my extensions and my theming and make it how I want. Got my video here, how to customize it and why I like it. So check that out. I'm 
I'm, I'm not gonna repeat a video that I've already done. But uh, I guess that is my answer to your question as to why I like Ubuntu. It, it fits me, I feel comfortable with it, and um, that's just what I've decided to roll with. I do, as you can see, I have Manjaro, Solace, Scion, Salant, uh, Corora on here. I have, which is a Fedora based uh, OS. I have many operating systems on my systems. Yes, I use Ubuntu for the most part, but that's just the way it is. I get all the software that I want, all the, maybe not the newest bleeding edge versions of software, but I get everything that works and works properly. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, if you have any other questions, um, you know, I think I'm going to start answering them when I start seeing them because uh, I get asked the same questions more than once, twice, three times, and uh, I think I'll just start keeping track and just do a Q&A video and answer the questions. Maybe a little more organized next time, maybe not just ranting so much. I just kind of just kind of popped into my head and I was like, oh, I'm going to do this, answer these questions. Uh, if you like my videos and you like my how-tos and my reviews and whatnot, pop over to Patreon. You can send me a, a buck or two a month or whatever you find fitting. And uh, let me just close some of this stuff. And what did I have coming up? I downloaded Sabayon. So Sabayon, Sabayon, Zabayon. There's many different ways to say it. It's, it's an Italian treat. It's also a Linux operating system. And I'm checking it out now based on Gen 2. Seems really interesting to me. So uh, yeah, that's what's coming up. Anyways. That's all I got for now. I hope I answered your questions. And until next time, guys, bash on.